This happens one single time a year. Already we have sold a whole lot of these from that little quick preview, and I believe they're gonna sell out very early in her visit. I don't think they're gonna make it through tomorrow. Why? Because Marilyn Miglin is truly the legend when it comes to creating high-end, beautiful, wonderful perfumes. When Marilyn's usually here with me, I love her, she's here. We do what's called eau de parfums, okay? Those are fine. But perfumes we haven't done that. Are, we haven't right. done, are the real thing. Mm -hmm. This is what everybody covets. And I'll give you a quick example. So I went on her website today and I said, What is Pheromone on her website? For a one ounce perfume, not eau de parfum, perfume, it's six hundred dollars. So just kind of plant that in your head and let me show you what she's done here. Are you ready? You get a half an ounce of pheromone the perfume. You also get with this collection pheromone red. Pheromone Midnight, Destiny. You also get Foti Tang. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, I got it right. And then finally you get Lace. All of these are full perfumes. Do you notice how slow I'm saying that? Mm -hmm. Only because it is absolutely incredibly exciting that you're getting all of this with three flex pays and that's only for this visit at $24.98, and all of them are for perfumes. And then if that weren't enough, she has the most exquisite, beautiful, absolutely shapely glass perfume bottle, and there's your little funnel to refill it. So obviously, Marilyn and everybody, you know, this was huge for me. I'm so excited to have your perfumes here. Oh, without question. And this perfume alone, this one is pheromone. Mm -hmm. That that's three hundred dollars right there, Suzanne. That's right. Yes, because right. A one ounce would be six hundred dollars, yeah. and that's a half ounce. So these are the pure perfume, and ladies, there's nothing like lavishly applying perfume because it stays with you. You feel good. It just goes on a little bit like velvet. It, it's just very different. And you know when you use perfume, you elevate your thinking process. You elevate your sexuality or sensuality what else do you do with perfume just that's it well and, and uh, well and you use it lavishly i use a little dab goes a long way so well, she's so frugal it's, i think it's these girls today are so <laughs> icky well let's explain the difference between that's, an eau de perfume and a perfume sure because it's substantially different that's why yeah. i'm making such a big deal about the fact they're all perfumes mm -hmm. and not a lot of companies make perfume because Any they're longer. they're costly they're very costly right. to make right. Right. so these are the essential oils that come from the so if it's an eau de perfume it's blended with a type of alcohol that gives it when you spray it that gives it the ability to to um, spread it diffuses and, it right mm -hmm. And so the perfume is the concentrate. So it's only a couple of drops that you need in the same place that you'd spray perfume, but it lasts probably, what, 10 times, 15 times longer than, than an eau de parfum because of but the it's concentrate so rich, of the oil. And you feel mm -hmm. such quality. And you just feel differently. You know, you slow down. You just become more essential. And I think the other thing is my, my mom has never scrimped on the ingredients. Suzanne, and you, I know you know that, that she, one of the things was the quality had to be there. So when you think about something like jasmine or iris oil that goes for upwards of fifteen to $25,000 a pound, and you talk yeah. about what's in, in, you know, that that's inside these perfume bottles, now you, you can kind of understand where the expense of this comes from. It's not the bottle, it's the actual perfume. Yeah, the perfume, it's the essence of it. Right? And it's intense labor of production so you have a lot of labor costs as well like the little jasmine blossoms are picked early morning before daybreak because that's when they bloom so you know it's and then they put it they put put it in a very high quality beeswax so the beeswax absorbs the beautiful oil which we then have to separate in distillation by separating the water from the oil from the actual wax so it, it's it's an interesting fascinating process but and very complex thus it's six hundred dollars for an ounce on your website for a pheromone <laughs> um i want to go through the essence of each of these um mm -hmm. uh, perfumes right. and right. and what they evoke what you think about them what we should expect if we've not tried some of these before so let's start with of course pheromone yeah. the famous pheromone pheromone go ahead oh no pheromone means <laughs> I don't even think I can explain this as well as my mom can. But when I when I was in, in grade school, my um, I lived with my grandmother for six weeks while my mom went on a trip to Egypt. So when I was doing research. And right. that this recipe came off the walls of some of the tombs in Egypt. And it's it's an amazing, amazing fragrance in that we get letters and calls and testimonials all the time of women who have been asked 
you know, in the grocery store, going through a revol revolving door. Um, what, what are you wearing? And it's an amazing testament. She made this perfume specifically for, um, to, to, for women, for, for men, to love to smell in women. And I it have was, men in mind yep. when I created it. Yep. What do men like? Yeah, and it gets tons of attention. I mean, seriously, <laughs> there's marriages over pheromone. Mm -hmm. There's introductions. There's first dates with pheromone. If you've got a great story, we'd love to hear from you. Marilyn loves it when you call. So share your story. We get the best stories when she's here. I'm always like... Come on, girls. There's some awesome, great stories because of what happens when you wear just the pheromone. All right, now we're going to move on to pheromone red. What is the difference? What's the essence, and what does that evoke? It's pheromone kicked up. Kicked up. To <laughs> How about a red, red fire fl flower in there? And red, red, I mean, if you think about what a hot red car is or red <clears throat> lipstick or what red means, a red dress, and what you feel wearing that. It's a power play. It's a very powerful color. And it, it, I think when you wear it, it just evokes a much more, con it gives you an, an, an inordinate amount of confidence because that's what it was supposed to do. So we took the very base of pheromone and what that represented and added some things. And you know, my mom was picky, not, you know, I don't know if I like that. And let me, let me work with the perfumer a little more with specific fragrances. And yeah, I'm not too easy to work with. <laughs> some of them have stopped and don't, people don't want to work with me sometimes <laughs> she, because... She's a perfectionist. She wants it, you know, she wants it the I best. Why can't I have that? You've got an incredible why reputation. Can't, why can't I have that? Exactly, yes. <laughs> I am spoiled. Yes, I'm an only child. That's what happened to me. And red, I, red is, is coming up to its sister, Pheromone. Have in, you read in, some of the reviews? Oh, yeah, on the red? Really, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Just the idea of Pheromone Red, just that alone, mm -hmm. I'm all in. Okay, the next one up is going to be Pheromone Midnight. Why Midnight? Well, what happens at midnight? All thoughts of romance come, come, come along, and there are some of the ingredients there that the but midnight it, is... And it was it was really meant to be a very seductive, sensual oh, it fragrance. Is. How about patchouli so, from Indonesia? And sage wow. oil and cedar leaf And elang, oil. elang, which is that aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. So there are some heavy hitters in this fragrance. Okay. Now we're going to pop down, because please remember you're getting all of this. No, you don't have to make a choice. You're, yeah, you're not <laughs> making a choice. And I just want to, before we, we're going to do the last three, but please remember, a half an ounce on her website, if she did a half an ounce, would be $300. This bottle would be $300 on her website. That's just how incredible this value really is. It kind of blew me away because everybody knows pheromone. And you know the original perfume, that's why we all wear Eau de Parfum. It's a little more affordable. That's right. So to be able to get her pheromone perfume at almost the same price as she does the Eau de Parfume and then let's add five more perfumes to it, this is remarkable. That's why she does it one time a year, and you're seeing it right now. I know a lot of you are getting more than one set, and some of you go, wait a minute, why would you do that? She doesn't offer the perfumes. She will never offer for the rest of the year this combination again. That's right. And it's very rare she even brings on pheromone in a <laughs> perfume view version. I can tell you, I've done many, many shows with you. We've, no, never, we've never shown pheromone perfume. perfume. Right. We have the right. eau de parfum. So it is, I actually have goosebumps. That's how ridiculous this is. It's, <laughs> it's like, if anybody you know loves pheromone perfume and they've been spending the full price on their website, do them a big favor, call them up right now and say, honey, you are not gonna believe you're gonna get the pheromone half ounce plus five more of her perfumes and all customer favorites. So it's just a big deal. And but I do wanna get in destiny next. So I wanted to actually ask if, I wanted my mom to tell the story about in, in Egypt when she originally went and visited, when you put the oils on that they found in the, in the market that you found that you couldn't get off. Do you remember that? Because I think it explains when you have the essential oil is how long lasting this is because everyone knows that my mom's perfumes will last. Yes. They don't, you don't put them on and they don't disappear in a couple of hours. They will, they will stay with you all day and they're worth... I was all excited when I had the recipes that are on the walls of temples actually translated from hieroglyphs to English because I didn't read hieroglyphs. And I couldn't wait to have them replicated. And the perfumer said, no, not so good. Oh, no, this is not good. Your grandma not like this. And I said, I don't care. I'll pay you. Please do this. So he reluctantly replicated them. And I was so excited. I put them on. Uh -huh -huh. He was right. I smelled like an old church. <laughs> and um, I thought, I've got to get this off my body. Suzanne, I couldn't for three days and three nights. This fragrance is lingering. And I thought, what in the world is making this so tenacious, making it hold on my body for this long? And I thought, what if you could create a perfume for today's woman that had this, this sustainability, this lasting effect? 
And that's but the, smelled good. Right. It's not like an old church. <laughs> <laughs> so when I came back to the States after going through all of this, I worked with a perfumer who had never, ever worked with cyprinium and decium and penny oil. And I said, would you help me to isolate some of these cloying notes to make something modern and very sophisticated and something very, very special? So he said, sure, can you smell? Well, I had to take a smell test, <laughs> but I passed. And, and uh, it took seven and a half years. So this is not something that just happened like that. Wow. Well, took a trip to Egypt going into the tombs, seeing the hieroglyphs, interpreting the hieroglyphs, and then seven and a half years later, mm -hmm. you have pheromone, which pheromone and is the most precious perfume in the in world. The world. Yeah. But there's one ingredient, and Marlena reminded me this morning, there's, and the, perf the uh, translators, the Egyptologists, were telling me about the, 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 the resin of red wine, and I said, don't tell me what they're drinking, tell me what they're, they're using in the perfume. He said, no, that's what is here. So the base to this fragrance is resin of red wine. No Isn't kidding. that fascinating? That is yes. really fascinating. But, you know, we, Suzanne, we smell wine and we drink it. Why not? That's right. Why not wear a little bit of it? <laughs> right. And there really is a rich depthness to For that sure. when you think about it. All right, so we're going to go through the, the other three. There's still three more to go. And again, please remember these are all full perfumes. <laughs> One of the gals online said it's the real thing. Not that eau de parfum isn't the real thing, but there is an alcohol mix for the spritz. When you get the perfume, there's an intensity. And as Marlena said, a teeny little bit goes a long way and lasts a very long time. It's a game changer to have the, perfu the, per the perfumes as opposed to the eau de parfums. Let's talk Destiny. What's the experience of Destiny? Destiny is made with only white flowers. Oh. So it was a beautiful... Which are truly some of the most beautiful scented flowers in the, the world. Yes, they really are, are, for sure. So mm. it's, and Fotitiang is one of them. Um, and Fotitiang is a sexual stimulant. Calla Lily, the white rose. Some of them are mentioned, Narcisse. Narcisse. Which ones am I missing? The, the calla lily, um, the calla lily, right. which is grounded, and and they all are are different meanings. Each one of these has a different meaning, and they correspond to chakra points. The white rose is the flower of unconditional love, and and the destiny I created for the woman who actually experiences life as as an adventure, but she balances her sensuality with her spirituality. And my whole company said, you can't say spirituality. I said, yes, I can, because we have it. Women do. We, don't, we know we have that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's what happened. She was there <laughs> when I was going through all of this. And I almost didn't launch Destiny because I had so much flack from my company. And, and the perfumer, too, because when she was doing this, they also it's the only fragrance without a top note. That you'll oh, find. interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's it was, fascinating. And the reason why is she found the perfect formula with the white flowers that she had wanted, and she said, I'm done. This is perfect. Just and he stop. said, oh, no, no, we need the top note. So if you see in this pyramid, they're showing it's middle and base. There is no top. That is fascinating. Is that the only she, one that you've made without yes, a top note? that's right. And this is an interdirected fragrance. This, oh. this really does touch your spirituality. It really does. It allows you to become one with another, but you also draw people to you. But you don't remember that you have it, because remember, there's no top note. So later in the day, someone might pass you and say, oh my goodness, what is that fragrance? And you can say, it's destiny. And I say, now that you hold destiny in your hands, the future is yours. Change one moment, and nothing is ever the same, and that's that destiny. So then you decided to take one specific flower and break that out individually. Mm -hmm. to I the think others. that's fa fascinating. Why did you decide to really feature the um, Fo Tien Chang? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. It's, it's a sexual stimulant. Well, if you in you China, know, for, there you yeah. go. Yeah. And Suzanne, I don't, I don't really plan to do this, but when I, when I was selling my fragrances at the, at the, um, the, the museum when they had Tutankhamun there, and I let people try seven of the oils documented on ancient papyrus. Guess, guess which one everyone liked. Faux Did they really? And I, I didn't plant that. I didn't, I mean, because it was all right. They could have picked another one. But Faux Titiang has a certain amount of substance to it, I think, that a calling power, and people pick it. Yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about lace. I think that's fascinating. You have a very clean name. It's just called lace. What's that, that experience? And the, well, Part of that was when you think about what lace represents, it's, it's the probably the most important moments in your life, whether you're christened, when you get married, um, it's and a celebration, so, mm -hmm. and it can be it can be romantic, it can be sexy, it can be whatever you want it to be. Peekaboo, even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I told you it was a sexy yeah. hour, people. Let me look through my lace and talk to you. <laughs> That's right. Well, really, it does evoke many, many experiences when you do think lace. And again, that is the sixth one. You are getting half ounce each of full perfumes. And then I do not want to dismiss this stunning glass container because this is all glass. It is so beautiful. In fact, you know what? If I went out to a beautiful perf perfumery and I just wanted to collect beautiful glass containers, I dare say you'd spend a lot of money just getting the oh, container. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. This is such an elegant way to apply perfume. But there's a funnel there, so you can pour your a little, little funnel perfume on top, in there. Right? And then you have it, so you can dab it, Suzanne. So you dab away. Yeah, here. And you dab, there. dab, dab, dab. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So that's included with it as well. Please remember, with almost 400 sets gone, we have a special. I want to double check, too. Yep. It's a this visit only price, which your visit ends tomorrow. We have a special three flex pays on this. And she only does the full perfume set one time a year. So I'm so glad you caught it right now. And please stay on the line for it. I know we're pretty busy. Here's Callie with our spotlight.